So very simplistic chapter of Fairy Tale yet again. To be honest with you, this chapter felt like almost the reset button was hit as far as the beginning of Fairy Tale yet again. Natsu and Lucy going on their journey to where they're off to and whatnot. And I think that that's the feeling that this chapter was trying to give as well. Like the journey begins yet again. It feels like it's back to the start again. The journey, you know, fresh and everything like that. One thing, I don't think I've ever been this annoyed in my life about a haircut of a character. And it's not even that it is bad or good or any of that. It's just, I thought Natsu was sick as fuck. This was the mark of a new look, a new time. Natsu changed everything. It was like... And then he cut it. Why? That was such a time skip. One of the big things is we like to see the change in the characters. They Not only just, of course, physically, strength-wise, but outside. We like to see, oh shit, you know, this character has this, this character got taller, or whatever the case may be. Lucy barely changed, her tits got bigger, and she got a slightly different hairstyle. Not so looks exactly the same after the haircut. And uh, again, it's very minuscule. But at the same time, I think it was, that was a huge part of showing us that Natsu changed, you know, just this new look, this epic new look at that, because that long hair, he was looking like a motherfucking badass, and it's like, why, Hiro, why do you take that away from us? It, it kind of just retracts some of the epicness of the time skip of a year, like, so when we see Erza, is she gonna look exactly the same, or is she gonna look different, and then a chapter later, she's gonna go back to her normal look, likewise with Grey and everyone else, it's like, Natsu looks so sick. He looks so fucking sick. Why? And aside from that, this chapter recapped a lot of the stuff that we already know. Lucy was basically scouring the globe on, you know, her little conquest to see where everyone in Fairy Tale was at. Kind of gave Natsu an idea that she never gave up on Fairy Tale, and that's kind of what inspired him to do all the ruckus or whatnot. And I guess it's kind of continuing the continuity of how the king really appreciates him because of, you know, everything that he did. The king was like, no, pardon him, pardon him, or whatever. And the signal to Fairy Tale is kind of going to give them an idea. Okay, we're looking for you guys. We're going to get back together or whatnot. It was interesting that Natsu didn't know that Fairy Tail broke up, and I guess that's just kind of like, you know, silliness of him or whatever. He didn't really think about it. He just went on his own. He's like, fuck it, I'll see you guys later. I thought he actually knew that Fairy Tail was breaking up, and that's why he dipped. And what he said kind of made me think the same thing. Everything that we've seen from Fairy Tail right now, up to this point, we're family, we're Fairy Tail, we love each other, we don't give a fuck. So for them to disband. It kind of makes you think, like, would they really necessarily do that? I mean, I get the circumstances or whatever, but nobody put up a fight. And, I mean, Lucy wanted to put up a fight, but it's Lucy at the end of the day. So, kind of made me wonder as well with Nasu. So, there's probably more to it with each and every character and how they were feeling or whatnot. I mean, Makarov's missing right now. Where the fuck is Makarov? I'm curious about that as well. Hopefully, it's some major plot point and some foreshadowing for some later events. But, yeah, this chapter, pretty simple chapter. Disappointed that Nasu got the haircut because now it's just same old Nasu. And I guess it just felt like a refresher, honestly. There wasn't really too much to this chapter other than they're going on another journey. They're letting Fairy Tale know we're out there. We're trying to get back together. We're going to see you guys soon. So, for the most part, average chapter, honestly. It, like, it wasn't bad necessarily. Personally, I was disappointed with Natsu getting that cut because, again, he just looked so fucking badass. But aside from that, it was just... The journey begins again. Very simple, very, you know, average for the most part. 5 out of 10 for this bad boy. Very simple to say, to be honest with you. I'm disappointed with the haircut, but aside from that, the journey begins again. And I'm looking forward to meeting up with the other cast of characters. Just hopefully, if they do have a change, it stays. Because Natsu was so badass, and I'm so disappointed that he has a haircut. But yeah, I just spent 4 minutes complaining about a haircut. You know, let me know what you guys thought of the chapter. I guess the big thing about this, what do you think about Natsu losing that epic look? Do you think that's going to happen with all the members of Fairy Tale? Is everyone going to go back to being the same? And do you think that kind of takes away a little bit of the feeling from the time skip simply because it's like you changed inward and outward because we've seen his power. His power is like out of, through the roof or whatever. But I think the outside look does matter as well because we want to see the progression. Or did you not even care? And you're worth us a chapter. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you do so as well, that'd be amazing. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.